straight to the word, and the word for today comes from Ephesians 4, just verse 30, 30 so 31 and 32, that's the two verses, 31 and 32. And you 
know what? I'm here to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Unforgiveness steals you. It steals who you are. It steals your heart. It steals your soul. It steals everything about you. That's why, for instance, sometimes you find yourself throwing yourselves at relationships that are not meant for you. Because you know what? Somebody said to you, you are not you are not with it. You will never amount to to be with me. Mm. You go around and you look at this person. And you start saying things about this person. You are bitter because you know what? Why should this person behave when I'm not? You go around and, and talking about this person because you know what? You are angry that somebody's, you know, somebody's happy with this person. Why should anybody have a relationship with this person? Because this person is bad. Mm. And you look at yourself and you say, I'm going to win of anyone. Nobody cares about me. And you know what? You go into a relationship because you're looking for a dad in that, in that man that is going to feel you with something. You go out in a relationship, you know, where you feel that, you know what? Maybe this one will see something that the other one doesn't see.
deep down, if you look at every child, you must look and say, why is this child doing something like this? Maybe you find that there's something that you did as a parent around the time. Our streets are full of sweet children. Do you think a woman would bear and bless a child and say, I'm burying you so that you can be a street child, so that you can be on drugs, so that you can be you, you can be sent to prison? No woman does that. But you know, if you look at everything, there's an unforgiveness coming. The child that fails to forgive. The dead was never there. The child then failed to forgive a mother that is saying no. Because you know what? You know, when I was burying this child, I, I was too scared to hear any no's. Because you know what? This is my territory. This is, I, 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 I don't want this. Because at the end of the day, this is just not for me. In actual fact, that's how I, I didn't even want to get married to the oldest. You know, God is interesting because He wanted to show me that they are good men. And you know what? Do you think the priest, priest themselves would be full if, for instance, we were the kind of people, of people who are able to forgive and let go? Because a lot of them there are there because they could not forgive. And they will be brought into where in that bitterness where you know what I want to show women because my mother did this. I want to create women because you know what this makes me feel like a man. Mm. You know, I look at the world and I see the leaders that are leading us. There's some form of forgiveness. Imagine if the world had the Mandela's that you know, after 27 years, he was able to say, Come, you cheated me there, come, but I want you next to me. I want us to build this country. I want us to, you know, I want us to work together. Can you imagine how to spread the world with you? But you are busy strengthening each other. We are busy taking each other in the heart. We are busy. Putting down each other because you know what? This unforgiveness kills. Unforgiveness kills. It kills the soul. It kills relationships. And it kills the blessings of the Lord. Because you know what? When God says to you, listen, pray for your enemy, for your enemies. You know what you say? God, not that one. I'm walking away from this one. And it's, it's, like, it's like, you know, for instance, those two, two built uh, uh, languages. Can you imagine? We pull them. But can you imagine how hard it is if we put it in front of you and try, and try to push it? That's how we get in that. We try to push this language in front of us. We put it, wherever we go, we put it first and say, here, yeah, and not any better. Because we are having to Do you think Hitler, for instance, would be so adamant to keep all the Jews? If there wasn't any unforgiveness in his heart, if there wasn't any anger coming from someone. And God says, I won't give you. I need you to go and pray for the neighbor that you don't like. And I say, God, can you see what she's done for me? No way. God says, until you do it, I'm going to take a step back. And that's why God says, when you pray and you, say, and you ask for things, maybe they don't happen because of disobedience, because of what of bitterness, because of what of anger that you carry. Mm. You know, Jesus was on the cross. There were two groups of people. Those who were mocking him, those who were crying for him. Mm. And I'm sure somewhere he said, you know what? If, if, if I die, I will die today if I don't say, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they do. Because you know what? This group that was, was, that was 
looking at Jesus and crying, but he turned away and said, No, this one's. But he made, he made a way, he made a path. That, you know what? Mary Magdalene, you must be the first one to get to the grave. Because you know what? You, your heart, your heart is in the right place. You can know that you'll be able to go back and say, Jesus has risen. Because you know what? Now is the time for change. Now is the time for resurrection. So right now, I'm saying, now is the change time for each one of us to resurrect our lives and live behind the forgiveness. Let us be ruling us. Yes, Lord. We are fasting. Hmm. We are denying ourselves. We are looking at the cross. We are praying our visit and prayers and everything. You know, you have said, just like it was said, if there's anything, you can bring everything to God. But if there's anything, if, 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 if there's anything that's holding you back from, from, from putting, you know, from putting your offering, move back and say, this is the time to say that I'm fasting. Let's, let, let's, let's start the unforgiveness in our lives. Mm. Let the unforgiveness of the in, in our lives start. Mm. This is the time. This is the time. This is the look forward. As we start another week of fasting, we start with less burdens so that you know the God that you are praying for is the Because with the same God that I prayed for last year when I was fasting was the God that I had barriers, the God that I had, I had made him not to do, not to give me my blessings. This is the I'm 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 ready to see this. I'm moving forward. I'm allowing myself to be the best that God wants me to be. And you can't be a vessel if you are broken. You need to be mended. You know. Yeah, I don't know what they call it in Japanese. You know, for instance, if, if, if there's, they've got a tent, if, if a vessel is, is cracked, they will put gold in this vessel and it becomes more valuable. Mm. Yeah. We've got cracks, but now, now with this fasting, we've, we've got gold. Amen. You know, we are more than the gold. And our lives are going to be changed with the gold. Amen. And our ways that we pray for our common. That, 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 that is filled with gold. That is precious. That when God sees. 